we do have a lot of black women that support our show. So I just want to make this clear. The conversation became about what his preference was, but really the disrespect was we, we kind of was off on the conversation. The conversation was what shade of toast he liked. And he used the, the black women as his measuring stick. And that was the part that was very colorist of him to say that and say, I don't do like burnt toast, like the, the comparing Serena Williams to burnt toast. So oh, that's, okay. what, so what, that's good, Claudia, because what I thought was is that what I heard was he just was saying that he didn't want to go all the way Serena Williams, that he could go Halle Berry color. That's what I heard. And I was like, oh, OK, well, that's your preference then. You know what I mean? Like Serena's married to a white guy. So, OK, all right. I, I get it. So that's what I was co communicate. I mean, uh, um, uh, commenting on and saying his you know, he got a preference, you know? So, you know, when they said what they said and they, I was in Bahamas. So I, when I get back, it was like, boom in your face, but I'm kind of used to that as well. But, you know, TMZ, so TMZ actually has said went what back they said and gave me a way out. Hmm? TMZ is getting people at the airport again? What? You know, Bro. we had six foot distancing for a long time. And I was and, really and I can't say mindful. that he was because I had my mask on and I had a little turban on my head too. So I'm thinking, and that's mm. why I like to travel so easily now because it was like oh I can get in and get out you know what I mean right. and he came up to me and first he said hi Miss Lisa Ray so I was like oh hey and then he came out of his bag with the camera and I was thinking oh well, I can't Damn. Here we go. <laughs> you know what I mean it was like I can't run I don't really know what he gonna ask me and so when he asked me I just was like glad to ask me since you asked me let me tell you what I thought and so it was it, it was good because I you know you do want to let the people know where you stand and to be able to add to what you feel like you didn't add to it in the beginning or what you should have added in the first place. Okay. And that's that. Yeah. Well, I All just right. want to throw my two cents in. I do think that people just, you got to understand this is a conversation. We can't have one side and not the other. We have to be able to talk about all aspects. And if somebody doesn't agree with somebody, that's okay. It, it's that's all right to disagree. It's all right to have different perspectives. This this is what I will be getting on my nerve about the internet because you so fast to cancel and fight everybody and jump and ju jumping down folk throat just because they don't believe in the same thing that you believe. And that's, that's fine. You know what I'm saying? People, you supposed to, how else are you supposed to have a back and forth conversation? If everybody just like, yep, I believe that too. Mm-hmm. Everybody that's just boring. like, all right, move yeah. on, Claudia. <laughs> oh, yeah, we all think that too. Between us though, you know, we'll take something and we'll see it all over the place for us. And then we don't necessarily take the good stuff or the supportive things and make that spread like wildfire either. You know what I mean? And so that for me made me go, you all are trying to create what? Because of what? But I just didn't play into that because, you know, I know who I am and I know I'm not a racist or a colorist. So it was just like, you all want to take something and run with it because maybe perhaps y'all don't have nothing to talk about this week. <laughs> and it's me. And thank you. Yeah, you I know. Just, you know, people just be sense. It's it's cool, you know. I just think his his. It's like Claudia said. He just that toast thing, and then you know when you you start thinking about colorism, like the the house N I G G A and the field N I G G A. That's kind of where it is. Like, like yeah. oh, I like mulatto girls, but a mulatto girl was allowed to be in the house because of her preference, you know, because of her being lighter skinned and then the dark skinned black people had to be out in the hard work. So like. When, when a white man starts talking like that, you know, white people were the, the reason why we are having this colorism conversation in the, in the first place. Because black people, we can talk about, girl, I like them light. Girl, I like them dark. Girl, I like me, you know. And it's not a big deal because two black, dark-skinned parents can make a light child. You know what I'm saying? So color comes from us. So we can talk about yes, color yes, all yes. day. You know, and it don't bother us. It comes in so many different colors. Like, yeah, man, we, we can have an like albino like baby. Brown. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So... It doesn't bother us, but for them to say it is inappropriate because they don't come from color. They don't have color. It's not their business. They're not in the business of color. And they used color to divide us. Exactly. So and, and I think we have to be careful as, as, women, be careful. That are, as women that are considered light skin or lighter or even biracial, the sensitivity of our women that are looking at us. Like a lot of times they want us to just admit that, yes, we do have a privilege that a lot of times our darker skin sisters are not privileged to. And I think sometimes the comments can, they can take them, it, it hurts them differently. You know what I'm saying? Because the thing he was saying he liked, Lisa Ray was more about me and your color. You know what I'm saying? So I see why the darker skin sisters would feel a kind of way, but I don't think you meant that in your heart. I really don't. I really no, do think, no. I, I, I don't. But I just want to 
I just want to talk about how people, you know, you go by how you feel and what's the trauma you happen in your life. And a lot of that stuff we didn't really get. We got some hate from 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 some of our people for not being black enough, maybe, yeah. and and from white people too, because they still there's still a weird place with us. But I, I just want all the black women watching us to never think that any of the four of us ladies here do not have love for every single shade of our sisters because we do, because we are that. We and are that, and like we should have a bigger conversation about this because I think with us all being different black colored black women that we all had something that we've gone through because I have actually more that I can add to the story of light skin privilege just like no actually the opposite and what I feel about my light skin you know what I mean but, you know we, 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 we got two minutes we, we're not gonna do I'll come back with topics when we come back from this break but you know let's use this last two minutes to talk about it real quick I think this is an important mm -hmm. this is a very, uh, important conversation but what other black women are feeling right now, then, then hot topics right now, we'll get into that next segment. But what would you say about your, about the light skin privilege thing? Is it a myth or is it real? For a while, I felt like some of our magazines that if you weren't brown and wasn't brown enough, that you didn't deserve to be on the cover of that magazine. And that mm. you would see, yeah. And that you would the see black the magazine? same people. Like, yes. you mean like the black? Mm. Yep. Like, we, we don't make stars. You know what I mean? Like Bazaar and, and, and Vogue. We don't need necessarily need to know the model that's on the cover to buy it. We're buying it because we're supporting what's on the inside and the reputation of the magazine. But mm -hmm. our magazines, we got to put the same people on there after time after time after time. That make Those you are go, facts. She done had five covers already. Like, what am I, top, top liver over here? And I've said that to myself, like, whoa, why haven't I been invited to the blah, blah, blah? Because so-and-so, so-and-so did, or she just, she's new, or she's this, or whatever that is. But it's also a thing that makes me second guess myself. Or go, well, wow, you know, what does that mean with, with me? What I got to do, you know? And sometimes it can be good and sometimes it's not. Sometimes, it, and most of the time, it's, it's hurtful because you want to be able to be uh, accepted by your own, but then you're not. You got to wait until you relevant or hot or got a new something before you're invited to something before they go, oh, now, now we can invite her. And it's like, but you take and accept the invitation because you're like, well, uh, I wanted to go last year. And the year before that, so now that I'm invited, I guess I will go. You know, but always on the inside, you feeling like, y'all damn show sure didn't invite me two years ago in a row. You know what I mean? Like that, that okay. hurt your feelings. You know what I mean? Like day. You know. So I, I've had some things like me. I'm, I'm a sun bunny. You know, my mother always say, "Girl, you better stay out that sun. You're gonna get cancer." And I always say, "But the people in Egypt." they never got cancer because they <laughs> stayed in the sun. You know what I mean? I'll say stuff like that, you know what I mean? That'll make her go, <laughs> you know, but is that because I have a problem with being light-skinned? No, not really, but I, I, I prefer to be kissed by the sun or be a little cocoa brown, a little latte with a little bit of something in there. You know what I mean? Like, you know what? I we, we are, we're going to dedicate a show to this in the future. I think we will. We need to do this. Yeah, let's have some, the hard with, discussions, with some, you know what I mean? Because that's what some, we do. With some black women who feel like be, they've been discriminated against because they're too dark. And then with some light-skinned women that feel like they are discriminated against for not feeling black enough. And I feel like we need to come to a place where we can feel each other's pain and not be like, well, my pain's worse than your pain because yeah. that's where we alienate each other. And I think we need to get to a place where we understand where everyone's coming from. And when, they, like a, and when one person celebrates their light skin and another person celebrate their brown skin and another person celebrate their black skin, you know what I mean? It is just that. It's a celebration all across the board. Girl, white people right. did this to us. White they people. did. And, yeah. and, and, and it's been keeping us fighting ever since. So let's take a quick break and we'll be back with some hot topics. 